okay guys when they say this live no balance this is a typical example of it see where soldiers are now leading the troop of malu look at their vehicles they are the one leading malu of uh, buhari moto buhari property look at all the home military men controlling controlling malu it is a big shock to me that army now have turned to be a cattle rearers in Nigeria. Look at their hillocks. Look at their hillocks following uh, hedges of uh, uh, of uh, Malu, Kasi, the president of Nigeria. It's a big shock to me. It's it's a it's a it's a big shock and embarrassment to Nigerian citizens. Thank you, God for making us to be alive to see this. Amen. Okay, guys, um, you have seen it all. But before I continue, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All depends on your location at this time of the day. Okay, uh, at this point, I don't know what to say. After watching this video, the first thing that came into my mind, and I don't know if you guys have noticed it as well. Oftentimes, we hear stories we get news like um nigerian army nigerian security forces clash with eastern security network all right almost on a daily basis we get the story how the nigerian security forces clashes with the um, ipob but never for once never for once do we have a story a daily headline that says Nigerian military clashes with Fulani headsmen. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. After watching this video, I was like, you know, something came into my mind and I realized that for a long time, not even for a long time, I've not heard of it before, that the Nigerian military clashes with Fulani headsmen. I'm talking about the same Fulani headsmen who goes about with AK-47. Of course, I'm talking about them. Now, how do we explain this? Maybe you want to explain it to your unborn children. You want to explain it to your children. How do you explain this? Remember, I shared a video for you guys when the um, uh, Yoruba youths were chasing away uh, the Fulani headsmen and their cows out of, I think, in a bear. It happens in two places, Ijebu Ode and Ekbe, something like that. All right. So this is the outcome. This is the result. All right. This is the result. Now the military are now escorting these people. From whose order, whose authority, who made the order that the Nigerian military should go and protect these people? The military should go and protect the cows. The military should go and protect the Fulani headers. Who gave the order? That is the quest the first question we should try to understand. Who gave the order? The military I know, as we all know, they don't they act based on instruction. You wouldn't tell me that um, a, a military a personnel will jump into their patrol van, you know, drive straight to where it happens just to you know protect these Fulani headsmen or their cows. No. Somebody must have given the order. Now, who gave the order? Who is the number one and chief security officer of the country? Hmm? Who? That is the question we should ask. Okay, guys, Um, I quickly want to update you. I'm still following it up. Don't forget to subscribe and then uh, turn on your bell notification. Let us discuss. How do you quantify this? Even if there is war, as I'm talking to you, even if there is war now, these military men will prefer protecting these cows rather than protecting the citizens. Of course, when we see the truth, let us say it the way it is. When we see the truth, even if something happens now, these cows will be more protected that, than human lives. Okay, guys, um, let me stop there. Let me know what you think. See you in another video.